Hi there, welcome to my video on how to create a course for presale in Thinkific. If you're not familiar with this feature, uh, Thinkific has the feature where you can set your course for presale and allow you to take advanced signups and allow people to check out and pay for your course as well. Uh, the, there are a couple advantages about this feature. Uh, with presale, you have a few options. One, uh, the benefit of this is it allows you to take advanced signups, take and collect advanced sales, and it allows you to validate the content before actually building it. So the idea is that you can build a curriculum um, without loading the content, but just sort of giving people a preview of what to expect in the course. Uh, the benefit of this is that it will save you a lot of time, and it gives you the chance to sort of take uh, advanced sales and find out what the interest is for an initial product. Um, the idea behind this also is what I firmly believe in the idea of learn and earn. Uh, you get to learn about building a product, you learn about how to validate a product, and you get to earn some money and collect some sales at the same time. So I see it as a win-win and it's a great way to test the market without uh, going too deep into the process. Um, I firmly believe that pre-sale allows all of us to learn and get familiar with building a product, testing our markets, and sort of validating ideas. So let's get started and uh, go through how to actually set it up. It's fairly easy and um, pretty quick. So I'm gonna ask you first to log into your Thinkific uh, school. Um, I'm logged into my partner account. And then once I log into my account, I'm going to go to click on manage learning content and then click on the courses button. Now here I see my collection of courses and I'm just going to pick the one that is in draft mode uh, because this is a great way for me to show you and test out uh, this pre-order feature. So I'll click on this uh, draft course and this is the draft course that I'm going to make available for pre-order. And so the first thing I want to do is to click on this publish tab and then you see there's a draft button, there's a pre-order button and there's a publish button. So remember, I really want to check and select this pre-order button because this will be different than the published button. What it means is that anything that is in pre-order uh, is coming soon. Students will be able to see the curriculum, but they will not be able to access the content. And so the idea is that they will see this when they um, stumble upon your landing page. Then the second thing I want to do is set a price. Then I'm going to click on the pricing tab and I'm going to say um, OK. Uh, and then set a price uh, for my pre sale course. So let's just say right now I've set it to 500, but um, I've given it some thought. Maybe mm, 500 is a little bit much because I don't really uh, know what the price range of this audience is. So I can modify it to 250. And then I can sort of set an expiration date for my students who are taking this pre-sale course and say, well, uh, this is a limited time offer and I'm going to give you the option um, to finish this within 30 days because then um, it's at a discount and you'll be able to sort of take your time, but also not sweat over the fact that you have to rush it within seven days. So I think I'm going to set it at 30 days. And the other bonus is that then at the end of the 30 days, then I'm going to set up an automated email reminder to say, hey, thank you for uh, signing up and thank you for taking my course. Uh, and now here's a quick survey if you could tell me sort of what you think um, and give me some specific feedback about some of the lessons, some of the content, what was effective, what could be better, what was missing. And so the idea is that the pre-sale is more of my testing phase. Um, it gives me a chance to see what else that people are looking for that I haven't thought about and to then build a better version later on uh, based on the feedback and then uh, charge a much higher price uh, once I know that there is market demand and market need for this product. So uh, once I select the one-time payment, um, I can set it to 250 and then I can also change uh, the enrollment date at any time, or enrollment duration at any time. So I selected 30 days, but if I don't recommend leaving it blank because when you leave it blank, it means that it will be available to students for unlimited access. And really in the testing phase, you really want to set a time frame. Um, you can also offer this as a subscription and a membership, 
but I firmly believe that um, it is much easier to sell a product on a one-time charge uh, versus a subscription and membership, which really works more for um, selling kind of like content, um, recurring content and selling a community. And if you're just gonna sell a product, I highly recommend, um, in my personal opinion, and in my experiences, charging a flat fee. Uh, you can also offer a monthly payment plan, but uh, my firm uh, belief is that um, you want to attract the kind of customers to uh, attract the kind of sales. So if you charge a kind of reasonable premium for the kind of content and value and set a time limit, you're really encouraging and promoting urgency and timeliness so that students are uh, completing it and taking the course seriously and being able to give you feedback. So uh, once that's done, I'm gonna click save. And then, so the preview here doesn't give me the option to preview it as a landing page, but what I'm gonna do is uh, click on my um, landing page, which is a work in progress. But if I go to my landing page, I can see that when someone stumbles upon my landing page, they will see that it says pre-order available now. So that when someone stumbles on this, they'll see that this course has 32 modules and it's available at a pre-sale price of 250. And one of the lessons that um, I encourage you to consider and use in your uh, marketing playbook and marketing toolkit is to uh, convey to people that on your list that this is a pre-sale price and if um, the feedback is good and there's a second iteration, uh, the price will be much higher. So better to get in early if you're committed and interested and ready to get started. So uh, now the other thing I wanna mention is that this pre-order available now text can be customized. Uh, so I'm gonna just walk you through that uh, so that you can decide what's the best look um, on the course card for um, students and people coming to your landing page. Okay, so now that I've um, shown you sort of the payment and gone through some of the marketing, I'm going to, uh, as a last uh, point, to uh, talk about how do you customize that pre-order label. So I'm gonna click out of here, and then when I click out of here, just as a reminder to show you, in my course card, uh, it will look like this to show me that it is this is the one that will be pre-order, just to help me see that uh, which ones are published uh, which ones that one is hidden, but this one will be available for pre-order. Now, if I want to modify the text that I've just shown you earlier, I'm gonna wanna go into the settings. And then once I go into the settings, I'm going to go to modify text on the site. And right now it says uh, pre-order available now. Now, I, there's nothing wrong with that, but maybe you could just say something a little bit shorter. I could say pre order now, uh, just to make it simple. Um, I can delete that and then play around with it to say um, a limited offer now. So let's just say I'm gonna choose that. And then let me go back to show you um, what it looks like when I refresh this. And that it says limited offer now. So uh, that is, in a nutshell, how you create your course uh, in Thinkific for pre-sale. And if you have any questions, leave a comment, uh, send me a note, uh, give me some feedback on the video, uh, like the video, uh, and subscribe. And thank you again for watching.